Over in South London, and Megan's arrived at Megan's, all oh, spooky, for her date with modest model Courtney. He said he's 11 out of 10, and for me, for a boy to say that about himself, means he's probably full of himself. But I do need to be open-minded, you know, because I just feel like I always go for the wrong people. Here he is. Let's see what he's all about. I'm Courtney. I'm 27. I'm from Northampton. I do modelling full-time and I play football semi-professional. Anything else? You're just using this now as a mirror, aren't you? Loves it. You right? Oh, my God, you scared me. <laughs> You scared the life out of me. I was waiting for you to walk around the thing here. Hello. You right? You okay? Yeah, not too bad. Mwah. Mwah. You look beautiful. Thank you. You look really different to your picture. Do I? Yeah. Is that a good or bad thing? I don't know. Like, I can't work you out. He looks nothing like his picture, but so far he doesn't seem that up himself. Let's see how this goes. Where are you from? Me, Northampton. Where? Northampton. Where's that? Like near Milton Keynes. John, my last tape was from Milton Keynes. I said, where's that? So I don't even know where that is. So Milton Keynes <laughs> is like... It's hard to explain where Milton Keynes is near, because it's a new, new area. This is promising. Got something in common already. They're both shit at geography. So whereabouts in this you from? I'm originally from Woodford. Yeah, so my agency is Woodford. Your agency's in Woodford? So South Woodford. Shut up. No way. I used to work in South Woodford. Really? In a bar, yeah. Yeah, that's where my agency is. Really? Where yeah. about? Opposite Greg's. Shut up! Opposite Greg's. Yeah. So you've got Greg's on one side of the road. My doctor's is opposite there, South Dean Surgery. South Dean Surgery? My uncle Terry's nan's dog's brother worked there. <gasps> Would have thought it. It might be next to that, actually, my agency. Yeah, it it's in them that. office buildings. Yes. Yeah. Small world. How weird is that? That's so weird. So mega weird. Oh my God. Well, it's not that weird. I'm from Essex, Woodford. Oh, good point. Big question. <laughs> How big are you talking on a scale of 10? 10. Jeez, strap yourselves in. This sounds serious. Would you rather go to a R&B club or a house club. Careful, Courtney. Megan's got previous with this, mate. Don't lie to me either. Don't, like, hide it and tell me your fucking truth. Do you go to an R&B night or do you go to a rave? R&B. My ideal night is a rave. R&B. Music. He likes r and I mean, this could be a game changer. Actually, one minute, one minute. The agents told me... Yeah. ..that you rate yourself 11 out of 10. Well, on a good day, yeah, I'd say I'm 11 out of 10. I would never look at myself in the mirror and be like... ..I am an 11 <laughs> out of 10. Like, I would never do that. That's because you can count. Ab game is strong. Your ab game strong? Yeah. Well, show me then. Who yeah, you want to see your abs? Yeah. I bet they're not that good. Oh, yeah, um, I understand now why he's 11. I think I might be minus one. Very defined. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit. Oh, someone's getting hypnotised by that 11 pack. So, like, you have, like, do you have good morals in life? So, like, goals sort of thing? No. No, like... Or, like, how I... Present myself. No, you know, morals. I've gone blank, like, literally. I'm, I've seen the word before. Seriously? I'm just trying to think, like... Is this really happening? Is it every ab you get, a brain cell you lose? Morals is like... Yeah, you tell him, Megan. What, are you, what do you want in life? What do you, like, what do you want, like, out of a relationship? Like, I don't know. Yeah. You don't know what it means either. This is madness. Well, someone who's on the same wavelength, someone who's just as caring as you, got the same sort of goals um, and attributes. Attributes? Say, for instance, they've got a goal and an aim. You're there to help them get to that goal and that aim. Did his football coach teach him that? And then That's you've got really, one. really, really nice. Well, you genuinely want that for the girl. Yeah. Why don't you tell your face that? And the moral of the story, know your limits. Looking at your outfit, it just goes really well, like the colours and stuff. Well, it's black and white. And then I was like, looking at your boots and stuff. What's wrong as well. with the boots? Nothing wrong with your boots. Well, so what are you saying it then? I was just looking down there. I'm, I'm just... so paranoid. I don't know what's going on. Don't right be now. paranoid. I'm just fussy. Go on. You're fussy. What? The feet. You're fussy about feet. So like, do you know when like, if a girl looks really nice? Yeah. And you go down there. And you oh, just... why you wanted to see my toes? <laughs> Is that what you wanted to say? <laughs> 
Why, did you want me to ask you to take your boots off? Is that what you want me to do? That's fucking weird, no. but... He wants to see my toes? Is he for real? The agents have nothing to worry about because I will not be kissing Courtney. So, the whole time you've been sitting here, have you been thinking what my toes are like? What if my toes were really fucking ugly? Tough question. Ingrowing nails, web feet. What about the dreaded six toes? Ugh, there's so much to consider. Athlete's foot, Veruca. I reckon that your looks and the way you are would overpower your feet. And I reckon her feet might kick you in the bollocks in a minute. Would you guys like the bill at all? Yes, please. Yes, please. Thank you. I'd like to hope I'm her cup of tea and hopefully go from there sort of thing. Could potentially have another date. Who knows? Maybe one day I get to see her feet. <laughs> Should we go Should we then? Go? Yeah, come on then. Oh, I didn't fancy Courtney. I just didn't fancy him. Thank you so much for dinner. Right. I hope you. you had a good time. Mwah. Mwah. It was just weird. It was a weird, weird, weird. Tell me about it. The weirdest part is I still don't fully know if you've got webbed feet or not. <laughs>